Swami says, the reason why it is very difficult to control the mind is because it's very clever. In fact, he says the mind is the thief, it is the culprit. But what it does is it puts on the garb of a policeman. Now this policeman is diligently doing his duty of searching for the thief. The whole world may appreciate this policeman saying, wow, look at this man, he's doing his duty perfectly. But you and I know that the thief will never get caught because the thief is the policeman and the policeman is the thief. Now tell me, once you listen... Om Shri Sai Ram, welcome to Sai Now, your go-to program that explodes with explorations of Bhagawan Shri Satya Sai Baba's unique and masterful analogies. In the last episode, we heard this unforgettable analogy of Swami calling the mind a thief. But it's a clever one, you know. It puts on the garb of a policeman. All that in the previous episode, Mind Chore. By the way, the link to Mind Chore is in the description. Just don't tell anybody. Okay, anyway, getting back to this. This is the greatness of our Lord. Our Lord, our Master. He takes the most complicated subjects and presents them in an absolutely contemporary and an easy way for us to understand. After getting a lot of positive feedback from all of you, we will now venture into chapter 2 of Sai Now where we will be exploring another masterful analogy. This analogy deals with a painfully practical but a very vital aspect of duty. A standard disclaimer, you will not find this in Google nor through ChatGPT. So we will call this chapter Duty. Just do it. In today's day and age, when everybody is talking about fundamental rights, the concept of duty sounds so boring. If I were to echo the thoughts of a young adult, it would be something like, I am an individual, I have a family, I have my children and my parents, so I love them and I understand my duties I have to do towards them. But do I have to do special duties towards the society as well? Well, for those of you who think that you have nothing to do with duties towards society whatsoever, think of a situation. What if people who come and clean the garbage from public places suddenly decide to take a break? Or better still, what if a policeman decides to take a nap during peak traffic hours? Duty. Just do it. You know, Swami would often say, It is my duty, sir. As Sri Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita, he declared, Name Parthasti Kartavyam. Trishu loke shu kinchana nana vapta mavapta vyam varta eva chakarmani. Meaning, O oh Arjuna, I do not have any duty in all the three worlds. However, I do everything like it's my duty to set an example for mankind to follow. Oh, yeah. 
there's a problem yeah this is a gear cycle yes thank you right thanks so beat an avatar a sage a family man students or anyone no one is exempt from duty well as you can imagine duty as a topic is a vast ocean and we can keep discussing about it for eons however today we will take up one analogy which only the avatar can give and for that we need to pay a quick visit to the railway station on to the analogy now swami says let's take the example of a family say traveling by train uh, from puttaparthi to bangalore and as they just a second let me actually take you into the field of action mm oh now let's see what we have here the husband is almost almost ready mm mm and then of course the ticket he checks a couple of times if his ticket is there and now the wife starts her journey of getting ready for the journey there you go now the husband's bp slowly starts rising and now the fun starts the taxi has come but not the wife and the husband starts calling loudly hold on hold on hold on he is not shouting he is just loudly calling he is a good husband right nirmita yes yes coming so after an excruciating wait for 10 long minutes she arrives but he gladly forgives her because she had actually got ready in record time chalo chalo bhaiya and they rush off to the station quickly why so late so already they're panicking and they rush into the station now finally after running around they finally reach the spot and all of them are standing there and as they look onto the track the train does not come so the child is looking at the mother and the mother is looking at the husband and all of them are peeping and looking at the empty track Now Swami gives a classic comment here having rushed and come to the station if the train does not come on time will we stand there silently urkodi untama kaadu kaadu no we start with the train we say this train is always late then we catch the station master oh he is always unnecessarily hurrying people this the station is cursed trains never come on time and then finally we even curse the country well you must be wondering just as i was when i heard this analogy as to what has all this got to do with duty and then suddenly swami spins the narration around kahani mein twist hai listen to this carefully swami says if an inert train becomes the object of such ridicule for not doing its duty towards society like for example 
it becomes the target of the curses of all the people stranded on the station. Imagine the amount of ridicule a human being will face for not doing his or her duty towards society. Let me repeat this again. Swami says, if an inert train becomes the object of such ridicule for not doing its duty towards society, imagine the amount of ridicule a human being will have to face if he or she does not perform their duty towards society. Isn't this an outstanding analogy? So be it jada, an inert train, or a taxi for that matter, or a Chaitanya Swarupa, the human being, both of them should do their duties towards society if they want to avoid being the objects of ridicule. Without a sliver of doubt, we all will face such situations in our lives. And when we do face such situations, we now have a positive way of dealing with them, isn't it? So do post in the comments how Sai now has given your life a positive twist. Oh, speaking to you, I almost forgot my tea in the office. And finally, it is now time for all of you to do your duty of liking, sharing and subscribing to Sri Satya Sai official YouTube channel.